how do I make a backup? You find that under more, backup button, tab it. Now you have the choice between backing up to iCloud, to Dropbox or to email. You need a iCloud or a Dropbox account if you want to use one of those two options. Both are for free. Backing up the email, this generates an email with an attachment. You can send this attachment to yourself or to somebody else if you'd like to share the entire backup. The person who opens the email needs to tap on the attachment and if the app is installed on the device, it will restore itself onto the app. It's important to know that backups, when they get restored, they replace all the data that's in the app on the device. For iCloud, we also offer a auto feature which creates backups when um, the data gets updated by the user. So let's say you make an entry, yes, no entry, then after that auto backup goes ahead and creates a backup in iCloud. It always keeps the latest backup for the day and that for up to seven days. So at maximum you have seven automatic backups in your iCloud. If you make a backup manually for those two buttons here, then these backups get stored until you delete them manually. For privacy policies of iCloud and Dropbox, um, you can visit those websites directly or you go to our app here, Track and Share Pro Help User Guide, and then you'll find there links to iCloud and Dropbox's um, privacy policies. It's important to know that Track and Share apps has no access to your data. Your data does not get stored in our servers iCloud and Dropbox, these are separate companies. So let's just try this here, back up to iCloud. Um, you get a file format suggested. It shows the date and the time and from which device this backup was created. That's quite nice. Let's say if you'd like to move data from an iPhone to an iPad, you may have the iPhone with you during the day and then the evening you'd prefer to use the iPad. So create a backup online to iCloud or Dropbox and then open it up on your iPad and this way you can move the data over easily without flaws and keep tracking. Tap the backup button and now the phone creates a backup and you can keep working in the meantime to restore the data, you would use the restore button and we cover that in a separate video. Okay, so this is how backup works.